How's it going everyone? I thought it was about time to do another cooking video for you. Uh, and in this one we're going to be doing a chili cooking video. Uh, my good friend Mr. Jimbo Fox was kind enough to give me some Hard Times chili mix, which I absolutely love. And uh, I wanted to show you guys how I make chili. Now there's a lot of different ways to do it, uh, a lot of different ingredients that you can put in the chili, and this is just one perspective. Right? There are many different ways to do it, and you know, please add and subtract stuff that you do and don't like. Uh, to make your own. All right, so I'm going to show you some of the ingredients, and then we're going to start right off and go go start cooking. So first off, uh, the vegetables that we're going to add directly to the beef uh, in the skillet are going to, is going to be an onion, uh, a couple cloves of garlic, a green bell pepper, jalapenos, uh, depending on how much you want and if you want some spice, uh, and the the ground beef itself. You can use ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever, but we're using um, some lean ground beef. On the other side here, these are the ingredients that we're going to add directly to the slow cooker. Now, you don't have to use a slow cooker, you can use simply a pot on the stove if you want to, uh, but I just like, like the way this, this cooks a little bit better. So we have one can of petite diced tomatoes, two cans of tomato sauce, 15 ounces each, uh, one can of kidney beans, of course the chili mix, now, like I said you can use the hard times, or you can just use simple you know, McCormick chili mix, whatever you can find at the store. We have some basil leaves, we have some pepper, and finally some corn. Alright, so that, that's all the ingredients, and now we're going to get started cooking. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming along. Alright, now that we have the vegetables cut, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pan just to get the, the vegetables going before we actually add the beef. So, we're going to take our vegetables, add our garlic, our jalapenos. I'm not going to add all of them, I'm going to add a little bit of, a, a little bit of the vegetables to a slow cooker. About that much. <clears throat> Let that brown up just a little bit before we add our beef, and we'll be on our way. Alright, now the vegetables have been in, in here for about a minute. You don't want to caramelize them too much. I just want to get them sweating a little bit. And then we're going to add the, the beef to it. And get that going. Now depending on how uh, much chili you're making, a pound, a pound and a half of whatever type of meat you want to use is usually the way to go. Today we're just doing a pound simply because we're not making huge thing of chili. Alright, so now the, the meat is almost done, and again you have to keep in mind that you don't necessarily have to completely cook the meat in the pan before you put it in the, in the slow cooker or whatever other uh, pot you're doing to, to finish the cooking process. 
Uh, because it's going to be sitting in there for a couple hours, it'll continue to cook all the way through. But uh, now that it's almost done, we're going to add a little bit of the, the chili powder to the meat itself. And then later, once we add that to the slow cooker, we'll add the rest of the powder then. All right, so if you look at it, you can see that it's pretty much almost ready to be thrown into the slow cooker. So we're going to open up this package here. Add a little bit of that. And mix it in. All right, now to prepare the slow cooker to add the, the meat mixture, what we're going to do right, is start adding some of the other ingredients. Uh, first off, I want to mention if you guys don't have a slow cooker, I would definitely recommend it. It's one of my, the most enjoyable things that, in the kitchen to, to cook with. Uh, and these little liners here really make it easy to, you know, pick them up and throw out all the excess crap that you don't need and it makes cleanup really easy. Alright, so, uh, now that we're going to get ready to add the beef, we're going to add the rest of the vegetables that we have from earlier. Just throw those in there. We're going to add our Diced tomato. We're going to add our tomato sauce. And our kidney beans. Now, again, you don't have to add the whole can if you don't want to. I add about three fourths of the can in there. Don't want to overwhelm it. We're going to add three fourths tablespoon of dried basil leaves. and then half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. Finally, last but not least, a little bit of corn if you guys like that. If not, then you can omit that portion of it. Alright, now this meat has been pre-drained. There's a little bit of juice still in there, but you want to try to get out uh, as much as possible. All right, now after the chili has sat a little bit, everything mixed in, you want to add your the rest of your seasoning into the, the pot here. Really good. Alright, so our chili's been cooking for about five hours now, and it's time to open it up and start plating everything. In the meantime, what we did is we made a, uh, a rice bed here that we're going to add as a base to our chili, and then, and then top the rice with the chili itself. If you like that, you can do it. You can use mashed potatoes as well, or simply eat the chili as is, you know, just plain. Alright, so let's open it up and plate everything.
Alright, so that's the finished product, a rice bed with chili. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to go eat it now. See you guys next time.